the sport of gladiators and iron grid geniuses. From the thick leather helmets to the scientifically engineered ones used today, the purpose of the game hasn't changed. Be the better player, stay low, play to the whistle, and pump your legs. The first game ever played was between Rutgers University and Princeton in 1869. There was no Nike or million dollar contracts or even forward passes. But from the sounds on the field to the sights from the stands, watching or participating in a football game at any level is one of the more exhilarating things in life. The Humanities Communication, Communication Arts Department at Norwalk Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join our host, Nicole Marinelli, to meet the next new director. Thank you for joining us today for today's edition of The New Directors. All the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you're about to meet are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you as with few mistakes as possible. Each student will write and direct four uh, different productions. This program will give them a chance to talk about themselves, the productions that they have completed, and give you the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Our guest today is a person who played football throughout high school, received a fair share of concussions, attended a premier summer camps, and even brought home a New England prep school class championship. Football has always been important to our guest. With concussions, championships, and everything in between, I'm sure today's show will be a hit. Get it? Now, I would like for you to meet our guest today, Evan Rapp. Thank you. Football is such a grueling sport, physically and mentally. Tell me about your highs and lows. Well, when I first started off, I was playing for Weston High School. We had a losing record all three years there, so it was definitely a low moment for me. All the hard work my teammates and I put in really was for nothing. And I believe we have some footage for it. Here's me. Uh, playing in a preseason scrimmage uh, for Weston. Another series of low points for me was getting concussion after concussion after concussion. With each one I got, I had to miss a week of practice and the effects would get worse and worse. But if I could go back, I wouldn't change a thing. Now let's talk about some of my high points, like the bonds I form with these guys, my teammates. These guys are seriously my brothers. Um, could you tell us why you decided to take the TV production course? So the, why I wanted to take this course was uh, to get to know the production side better. And I feel like I, I don't have much of a shortage of the creative side, but I need a much better understanding of the technical aspect of everything um, in the, what I'm learning in this class. I also learned more being hands-on, which is how this course is taught, which is very helpful for me. Uh, so I feel like I'm learning more than any math or history class could teach me. Cool, um, so what are the most useful things you've learned in the TV production courses? Definitely it would have to be the pre-production side of everything. Um, as long as, uh, as well as the composition of the shot, being aware of the lighting, and also being able to work the Hollywood magic for me. All right, cool, so uh, tell us about the productions that you've created um, for the TV One class. The Learning Project, the Action Sequence, the New England Project, sequ Seasonal Project, and the Orange Project. Well, here we have uh, the learning project. I thought it was very fun because it was a great crash course on how to use the camera and basic editing skills. The action sequence was fun because I got to play around with more action, which is definitely more my style. My favorite part coming up um, is when Harry walks over to the bench He sits down, he takes out a piece of paper, and I follow the paper from his hand into the trash, which was definitely my favorite part of uh, this sequence. The Fall in New England project here was such a blast for me because I enjoy nature very much. I took all this footage around my house and being able to look at the scenery around me through the eyes of the camera let me find beauty in the mundane. Well, I'm still working in the production phase of my Orange Project, so I don't have too much to say about it just yet. Uh, 
but I am having a lot of fun using my creative side and making the story re revolve around a piece of fruit. Now I know that you have one project that you felt was your most, that, that was your best. Tell us about it and which, and while we will watch a simple clip of the video with uh, the music that you selected. Thank you. Um, well, my favorite project and the one that I think is turning out the best for me would definitely be my fall in New England project. Uh, it was the one I had my most excitement about. Like I said, I love nature and being outside. So I saw this in a, as an excuse to take a second look at some of my favorite views from my house. Trees and locations I never gave much thought to became beautiful shots when I used the rules of composition I learned in class. I used a shot of my old tree house, uh, which was interesting because a week after filming, Hurricane Sandy blew over a nearby tree, collapsing the tree house, and sadly, my childhood memories. But I still think it was cool that I got it on film before it was too late. You mentioned the variety of things that you've learned in this course. What are the, what are the most interesting and important skills that you've learned and how will you put it to use? definitely be the importance of pre-production. For me, it's more than just a lesson in this class, it's a life lesson. Prepare, prepare, prepare. The more prepared you are, the quicker um, and the easier the rest will be. All right, well, um, today we got to meet someone who played in football high school, received several concussions, but kept getting back up no matter what. And he, and start, he started winning championships. On the weekends, he will be sitting on his couch watching Tom Brady, but during the week, he is dedicated to his work and bringing the best quality productions to you, to the viewer. I would like to thank our guest, Evan Rapp, for joining us today. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, we hope that you enjoyed meeting some of television's future directors, and we hope that you will continue to join us each week to watch the, prog the progress. Thank you, and have a good day. This has been The New Directors with your host, Nicole Marinelli, directed by Jessica Murillo. I'm your announcer, Andrew Moore. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student production.